so the idea of Beyond the White Lines, of the, the name of our um, softball organization is, uh, if you look at a softball field, you've got foul lines up the third baseline and up the first baseline. And the idea behind that is that if, if you take care of all this stuff beyond the white lines, all the things like conflict resolution and um, you know cult, team culture and things like that, then the stuff that happens on the field between the white lines, it'll take care of itself. Now what? We go to the source. Find out what it takes to build your dream squad. Hi everyone, it's Nadia with Now What Facilitation. Coming to you today from the Coquitlam, where are we, Joni? Uh, Mundy Park. We're at Mundy Park at this beautiful softball field. I'm so excited to be here today with Joni Frey. Joni and I met recently at a women's leadership event and I was blown away by her enthusiasm and just her general awesomeness and energy and so I knew I wanted to interview her. Joni is the um, head coach at UBC Okanagan um, Women's Softball. She's also the technical director of Coquitlam Minor Softball and leader of this amazing organization that I've been hearing about called Beyond the White Lines. She's going to tell you all about all of the wicked work that she's doing and hopefully we'll all learn a lot. You <laughs> nailed it! You okay. absolutely nailed it! Okay. Hi, my name is Joni Frey. Um, as Nadia said, I'm the head coach at the University of British Columbia Okanagan. Um, I was uh, born in Nanaimo and raised in Kelowna and uh, I'm excited to, to, to start, we're, we're excited to start the program up at uh, up at UBC. Oh, um, a little bit about me. I, uh, like I said, I, I grew up in Kelowna, so I'm happy to, to be back there. Um, I played softball uh, in the Okanagan, and then I moved down and played in the Lower Mainlands for the White Rock Renegades. Um, after I was done my minor career, I moved down to Georgia um, and played softball there at, the, at, at Georgia College and State University. Spent four years there doing an undergrad in education. Um, played softball. It was an awesome experience. I was was a runner up for the national championship, which was an amazing, uh, amazing feat, an amazing accomplishment uh, that I'm proud of. Um, after I was done college, I went overseas and played in Europe. Played in Holland, um, which was by far uh, the, one of the coolest experiences that I've ever had. After I was done playing, I, I moved back to the United States and I um, decided to pursue my passion, which was actually coaching. So I coached at Georgia Military College. Um, I coached at uh, Kennesaw State University, and then I um, moved on to uh, Mercer University. So I spent uh, 12 years down in the States, um, doing stints back and forth over in Europe, coaching the Austrian national team at different uh, championships. Um, and now, after 12 years of being back and being in the States, I've moved back, and um, I'm enjoying uh, living living in Canada. And it's 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 amazing some of the opportunities and. Uh, projects that we've got on the go. Um, I'm really excited to, to see the, the fruits of our labor in the near future. Joni, that's quite the resume. I'm blown away by that. Um, given all of your experiences as an athlete and as a coach, I'm wondering, now that you're an administrator with Coquitlam Minor Softball, what are some of the strategies that you use to support coaches in managing conflict? So I think that the mo one of the most important things is, is to be a good listener and to really understand where everybody's coming from and and be able to, to communicate that there is that understanding and, and that we're all working towards a common goal. And in, in this case, I mean, with, with softball, of course, we're working with kids. And so the ultimate goal is to, is to make sure that these kids are having an awesome experience, that they're learning life skills and, um, you know, that, that they feel equipped with the with the tools that the that the, the game is going to teach them, and so I think the biggest thing is 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 to be a listener, but also to be able to communicate that we are all working towards the same goal, and to help everybody see that perspective and and um, and validate their concerns and understand where they're coming from, and I think the biggest thing is is that conflict management it, it takes time, it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of conversations, um, and, and one of the challenges is that not, we don't all have a lot of time. I mean, we're so spread so thin with so many things that we've got going on. Um, but the, the truth of it is, is it, it takes time to really get to know where everybody's coming from and then to, to try to, um, you know, redirect everybody that we are on the same page and we're, and we're on the same team and, and let's work together in this. And, you know, at the end, maybe let's agree to disagree, but let's, let's move forward. Can you share any uh, stories or examples of how that's played out? 
Yeah, uh, I mean, I think it, I feel like it happens all the time. Um, and uh, I would say the most one of the most recent ones um, was an instance with uh, a coach and a parent uh, who had concern with with the with the playing time of of the child. And uh, as much as we prepare our coaches and, and try to equip them uh, with the tools to be able to, to work through, um, you know, working with parents and things like that, um, it, it's always a challenge. And so in this particular um, instance, what happened was the parent was unhappy with the playing time of the child and let the coach know right away without, you know, considering the 24 hour rule and things like that. So, um, you know, when the game was over and the conversation was, was had, I got a phone call from this coach um, who said, you know, what do I do? How do I deal with this? Um, and so we talked it out probably for about an hour and a half on the phone. And, you know, I let her know that I, I know for sure that she's got the skill set and she can do it. Make sure that she stuck to her, her values and to the, to the team mantra, which is earn it. And um, she, she encouraged the parent to, to meet before um, their, one of their practices. They had a good conversation. Um, she let the parent know that, you know, look, I, I'm on your side. I want the best for your kid as well. And um, in this case, um, your, your kid's, you know, not quite up to, to what we're, we're expecting of her and what she's expecting of herself. Um, and so we're going to hold her accountable. It was, it was absolutely fantastic because what ended up happening was the parent uh, recognized that, um, you know, that, that, yeah, this is an opportunity for his child to, um, to, to learn from, from this experience and to be held accountable and in turn um, owned that uh, he was was in this case um, you know in the wrong or out of place uh, with his comment and um, he later apologized to the coach and you know there, it, there wasn't a lot of um, hard feelings it was it was very um, as a matter of fact and as, as soon as the parent knew that the coach was on side um, and, and why the coach made the decision um, you know the, the parent apologized and said yeah I get it my kids got to earn it and I support you and I thank you and um, you know I was I was out of place and I, I those are the things that make me insanely um, proud of the coaches that we have. And we've got a lot of young coaches that are rising right now. And, you know, I think that's the, that's the secret sauce. That's the secret weapon. If, if our coaches have these skills to be able to deal with these kinds of conversations or manage these kinds of conversations um, and end up with a positive uh, outcome, and in this case, um, the parent recognizing that, yeah, coach, thank you. Thank you for holding my kid accountable. Thank you for, for you know, making sure that my kid is, is earning um, every opportunity that she gets and we appreciate that because in, in the end that's what really life is all about that's what sports all about it's a vehicle to learn the life skills to be able to navigate through the real world and, and part of being successful in the real world is um, earning it and being accountable and, and holding yourself responsible so that was a, that was one of uh, one of many uh, positive positive outcomes thank you Johnny and what I love about that story was that the association recognized the need to have that support for the coaches mm -hmm. because they have so much stuff coming at them. They're in a volunteer position. Yeah. And just for the coach to have their own coach yes. to help them, someone who's impartial to help them manage that situation. Well, one yeah. of the things I'm really proud of is, is this association, Coquitlam Minor Softball, um, and they've really invested in their coach development. Um, and it's, it's been a long time in the making. You know, it's been a number of years, but we've got um, an executive and past executive members that really value uh, coaching coaches and coaching. Um, and, and we know that coaching is a lifeline to sport. It, you and I talked earlier, Natty, it's what keeps kids in this game. You know, it's an exciting game, it's an amazing game. Um, and, and sometimes it's the coaching or lack of coaching that can, um, you know, can, can deter a kid from playing and, and they go and try something else. And so, um, you know, the fact that Coquitlam Minor is investing financially into somebody that um, can help coach the coaches and, and also myself, I, I'm continuously getting educated on what the right um, you know, what the right information is that I'm passing on to these coaches. But uh, it, it, we need more of this in, in, our, in our clubs and in our associations, more people that can coach the coaches but are constantly learning um, from the amazing programs that we have in Canada. The Coaching Association of Canada is incredible, and the, the National Coaching Certification Program is, is, is outstanding, you know, as far as um, the, the information that coaches can get. But the key is, is how do we take that information and, and, and get it into the hands of the right people? And so... I'm thankful to Coquitlam that they've invested because I, we're seeing the fruits of the labor. We're seeing a lot of really good things happening. I think in the near future, we'll be the big, biggest club, if not um, one of the biggest top top two clubs, team wise and numbers wise in the province, um, softball wise, and, and that's that's a testament to to the investment that this organization is making into their coaches. So, I'm I'm super pleased with that. How are you going to take all of the lessons and the your values and your theories around conflict management to your new role? 
as head coach at University of British Columbia Okanagan? Good question. So this one's going to be tricky because as of right now, um, we we don't we've not been together as a team. So we're going to have two weeks of preparation leading into our season, um, and a lot of that preparation is going to go to uh, or going to go towards us getting to know each other. And so I'm doing my best right now um, by sending questionnaires out to the um, to the athletes about you know what do you hope to get out of the season? What do you what are some of the expectations that you have of your coaches? What are some of the expectations that you have of yourself? Um, at what uh, intensity level do you operate the best at? You know, wh what can we do to help you reach your goals and your full potential? But it's a lot of emails and text messages and, uh, you know, group, group, Facebook group and things like that, uh, conversations going on right now. Um, and that's tricky, you know. And, and one of the things that I love was that a number of the student uh, athletes coming in that answered the, the questionnaire said that uh, one, of their, one of their goals this year is to come together as a team and i'm like yes you guys are nailing it because once we come together as a team and we're all you know firing on the same um you know in the same direction we're going to be golden the softball stuff will take care of itself it's all the other stuff it's getting to know each other um it's you know understanding where everybody's coming from what are your goals who are you as a person you know what makes you tick what are you passionate about what are you all about and once we get to know all of those things um then the on the field stuff's gonna be really easy because we've got some amazing and incredible uh incredibly talented kids coming in or, or women coming in i guess they're not really kids anymore um and and so yeah i mean it's really all about the other stuff you know it's 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 all about the beyond the white line stuff if you will in, in the sense that if we take care of that the on the field stuff um it'll it'll take care of itself so you know things like listening and getting to know each other and um, you know, our first day of practice, we've got a mental performance coach coming in. So before we even hit the field, we're talking about, you know, how, how to get it right um, upstairs mentally and, and how do we communicate. And, um, you know, w when we are faced with adversity, which inevitably all teams will be, and, and thankfully, um, I, I find that uh, I think that it's a great springboard uh, to, to, you know, to lead us into, um, into achievement. Um, and how are we going to deal with that? You know, so one normalize that we are going to have some some conflict. We are going to deal with some things. It's going to happen for sure, one thousand percent. And look at it as an opportunity um, to be able to, to work through versus trying to avoid it. And um, you know, if we all have that general understanding coming in, uh, then the season is going to be incredible. And I'm I'm really looking forward to you know to watching what happens on the field uh, because we take care of business off the field. Thank you, Johnny. Yeah. I loved that. Amazing. If you like this video, please let me know by liking it below, subscribe and share it with your squad. Don't forget to comment below with interview requests and topic suggestions.